Hello, Allison. Is Professor X doing any better? He's fine now. Only needs us some rest. That's good news. I feel a lot better now that he's back. We all do, Allison. Professor Xavier is the heart and soul of the X-Men. How was Shadow King able to brainwash Professor X? Professor Xavier expended a lot of mental energy creating a portal for Emma and me to reach Ileana. That moment of weakness was all Shadow King needed to take over the Professor's mind. So what happened when the X-Men beat those Astral X-Men in the Coliseum? That was the same as destroying Shadow King's control. Professor Xavier saw things for what they truly were. Did Professor X destroy Shadow King? No. Professor Xavier would never kill unless he absolutely had to. So Shadow King could come back to bother us again? Yes. But I get the feeling that won't happen for a very, very long time. I'll be back later, Jean. See you then, Allison. Hello, Allison. How are you faring today? So do you think this equipment will work on the X-Jet? I've had some difficulty calibrating the interfaces, but I believe everything should function satisfactorily. If you're so smart, why didn't you build these devices yourself? Young lady, am I to understand you're questioning my intelligence? Well, you know, a lot of people are starting to talk. About me? That's preposterous. Of course I could have created these devices, but there wasn't enough time. Relax, beast. I'm just having some fun with you. Oh. Well, of course I knew that. I was merely playing along. Bye, Beast. Goodbye, Allison. Hey there, Pebbles. What's the good word? I was just wondering what you're up to. Giving Hank a hand installing the equipment we boosted from the Sentinel factory. Is that new equipment going to work on the X-Jet? Hank's a pretty smart animal. I think he's got it all figured out. Besides, if he's wrong, we'll all be dead before we know it. Talk to you later, Wolverine. Take her easy, kiddo. Pebbles, what's up? I was just wondering what you're up to. Giving Hank a hand installing the equipment we boosted from the Sentinel factory. Talk to you later, Wolverine. Take her easy, kiddo. Greetings, Allison. Relax, beast. I'm just having some fun with you. Oh, well. Bye, beast. Goodbye.
Hey there, girl. Where are you going, huh? What's up, Gambit? Oh, just waiting round, taking it easy. Waiting for word from Big Man Cyclops to tell us it's time to go save the world. If you don't mind my asking, is everything all right between you and Rogue? Ooh, that girl and me is like honey and a bee. We might be a part of times, but not for too long, Nezba. Hehe. <laughs> See you later, Gambit. Au revoir, Shell. I'm glad you're here. What's going on, Cyclops? Just looking at some tactical charts. And, uh, trying to come up with a plan for defeating Magneto. The X-Men have battled Magneto before, haven't they? Yeah. We fought Magneto many times. And I'm sure there are those who think we should kill him the next chance we get. Because he's never gonna change. But that isn't our job, Allison. The X-Men aren't a death squad. Is there any way I can help? Well, if you're willing, you'd be a major part of my current plan. What can I do against someone like Magneto? We need your ability to control solidified magma. You mean rocks? What rocks do you need me to control? The ones we're gonna fly the X-Jet through on our way to Asteroid M. I thought that's why we got that gear from the Sentinel factory. You'd be our insurance policy in case something goes wrong and asteroids are in places they shouldn't be. Really? The team needs me? Magma, you're the only one who can do it. If it'll help the X-Men, I'd be proud to push some asteroids around. Thanks, Cyclops. Thank you, Allison. All right, listen up, everyone. Our time is up. We have to make our move now, or things are gonna seriously deteriorate here on Earth. Beast, what's the status of the X-Jet upgrades? With Wolverine's assistance, I have fully integrated the equipment we liberated from the Sentinel factory. By all appearances, the X-Jet should be able to reach Asteroid M. But getting inside Magneto's base could prove to be another matter entirely. We'll cross that bridge once we get there. Jean, how's Professor X? He's weak, but he's fine. He just needs a few days of rest. I'm sure the Professor's not going to be happy about being left out on this next mission. But we have no choice. Our number one priority is to reach Asteroid M and capture Magneto. Then we have to figure out a way to remove the asteroid shield from around the Earth. Summers, you make it sound almost easy. We all know it's going to be far from easy, Wolverine. But it's got to be done. The world is depending on us. Any questions? Okay, let's move out. Isn't that airlock door supposed to be open? I'm sure I remember Mystique telling me that door was supposed to be kept open. Might as well take care of it. Oh, not you bloody bunch of do-gooders again!
Cyclops. Nightcrawler. Ja. I'm on it. do better next time. Will do. Affirmative. Yes. Game, set, and match.
sorry about that, my friend. I 
marksman. Join us or die. Sorry about that. I don't have enough power. I will comply. Oh yeah! I'm on it. Combo! You ain't getting up for that. Thanks for playing. Join us or die! <laughs> 
combo! Should be a single field this good. Yes. Okay. Very well. X-Men, you just don't know when to quit, do you? If you had just let me take Allison in New York, life would have been so much easier. I only wanted her as a backup, in case we weren't able to free Magneto. She could have worked the Gravitron almost as easily as he could. A device Magneto created to magnify his powers. It allowed him to move the asteroids around the Earth. Oh, yes. Given her ability to affect rock, she was a natural choice. But you had to be difficult and stop me from kidnapping her. And now, X-Men, it's payback time. No.
Magma. about 
Sit, mein Freund. Do not allow the X-Men to reach the control center. X-Men, join us or die. Next time, you will get up. So tough. The X-Men can't be allowed any closer to the control center. You cannot defeat the Acolyte. A thousand combos! Warn Magneto. They're almost through. Okay. to become members of the Brotherhood! children. Have you finally realized the truth and decided to join the Brotherhood? How predictable. You recite Xavier's rhetoric like a politician running for office. My judgment is not clouded by outdated morals and sentimental feelings toward lesser beings. I know that mutants are superior and should not be forced to live among humans, much less live in fear of them. You are wrong, X-Men. Very wrong. 
to try and force two completely different species to live together? And I am sorry too, children. You would have made excellent additions to the Brotherhood. Pains me to destroy you. Your freedom! You're lucky you're still breathing. Okay. Super combo! I will comply. What I need that round. Should thing.
Combo! Sorry about that, mein Freund. Okay. Volcano! Thanks. I thought I was gonna die in there. Turns out the Brotherhood doesn't like dissenting opinions. When I finally figured out that Scott was right about Magneto and tried to speak out about it, I wound up cooling my heels in here. I'm ready to come back to the right side of the tracks. If you'll have me. Affirmative. Will do. Volcano! Yeah. Combo! 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 Combo!
I'm on it. Combo! 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 That was a blast! Need more power to do that. Okay. Sure thing. I will comply. Combo! I have more power to do that.
Gotcha. Affirmative. Combo! Combo! That had to hurt. Help now! Will do. Yes. close by. I'm on it. Affirmative. Okay. I'm on it. Sure thing. I will comply. Didn't Mystique say I could have used the Gravitron to move asteroids like Magneto did? Then couldn't I use the Gravitron to stop Asteroid M from hitting the Earth? So what are we waiting for? Let's find the Gravitron! Combo! Combo! 